My name is Daniel Skuka. I'm actually working at uh, ESA. I work in ESOC, the European Space Operations Center in Darmstadt, Germany. And I'm here today at the uh, Social Space event, helping to uh, coordinate and co-organize uh, the program with our colleagues from DLR, the German uh, Aerospace Center. And uh, yeah, it seems to be going pretty well. We've got about uh, 60 uh, invited uh, social media followers uh, from 13 different countries uh, here, here today. Uh, after our first uh, DLR ASA space tweet up uh, in 2011, we had quite a good group of participants uh, that year uh, here at uh, German Aerospace Day. And in the two years since then, they have actually gone on to develop their own community, their own network. They have actually uh, organized uh, at their own time, expense and initiative uh, a number of space events, including uh, Space Up. EU in Belgium, the, the first one that was done in Europe in uh, uh, a year ago. Uh, they've organized uh, Space Up in Paris. They've organized uh, uh, a number of other uh, smaller, more local events in uh, several different countries in Europe. Uh, they've done it entirely uh, on their own. They've uh, come back to ESA and DLR, to the communication teams at uh, each agency, uh, sometimes asking for some uh, help and assistance, but actually that's a super big bonus for us because we know that if we can give them a little bit of help, a little bit of information, a little bit of guidance, a little bit of support, they actually can uh, uh, create an event or help to build uh, the community that is space focused and uh, space positive and that's a huge value add for us. It, uh, it means that uh, someone like me or any one of my colleagues can actually have a much bigger effect um, amongst European citizens in communicating uh, space messages, space positive messages. So it's a huge advantage for us. Uh, and that's how actually the community grows as well. People uh, find a tweet or they find a post or they find an update from one of their friends and it's on one of our topics. And they say, hey, that's pretty interesting, that's pretty cool. I'm now going to follow one of the ESA accounts, one of the DLR accounts. But uh, if that was all we did, it would not be sufficient, or at least uh, our community would not grow as, as strongly as it has. It's really, really important that every so often we actually get together in person. And that's because we actually get to know each other uh, in a certain way. Our community asks us questions via social media. We respond via social media. Uh, it's something that never, ever happened in the past because the channels didn't exist. And when we have that two-way communication, and it really is a conversation, we actually get to know each other as, as people. And getting together in person at an event like uh, uh, Social Space is extremely important because it really cements the bond and uh, as I described earlier, uh, we see that actually the space com community will take the ball and run with it and they'll actually create events on their own and that just pays us back in the long run. My name is Angie, I'm from Athens, Greece and I'm here for the uh, Social Space event that ESA and DLR are doing uh, this year during the German Aerospace Day. Okay, uh, so what happened is that um, these two uh, institutions gave uh, like an ignition, like a fire to a community that was there, but didn't really have any, any place to grow. So uh, space fans, space enthusiasts, scientists and, um, and academics from all, from all over Europe just joined together in this, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, feast of, of, um, about space and their love about space. There have been a lot of space ups ever, um, tweet ups ever since, and uh, the, the community is also self organizing itself doing the space ups. Um, so it's been a lot of fun, and I think it's growing and um, um, doing outreach more for, for uh, um, everybody in Europe. And to actually, uh, you know, most of these people, they, they know each other from, from various social media. They've been following each other for a long time, but actually getting to meet and uh, you know, talk and um, share the excitement and that you know, ignites the next stage of again internet communication until the next meeting. I'm Rob Drysdale, project manager on Twitter. I'm from Toronto, Canada and I came here because I think space is awesome. I always want to learn more about what's going on with low earth orbit, moon missions, Mars, um, Earth atmosphere and how we're studying the earth and what's going on and I find that you can learn a lot a lot of stuff coming to these events. Well I think that's the important piece is that you have a lot of the people that are here that can communicate to their followers and show you know what's going on and everything. You also have the live cast and I know there are people that are out there listening and watching the tweets and looking at Google Plus and Facebook and watching the video and the live feed and everything else 
and it all comes together because I actually have people that are in my community that follow me that are tweeting back to me. That, that they're following my tweets and they're following the webcast today and they're interested in what's going on. And it helps broaden what's going on in terms of the education of all the people. Yes, I went to Space Up Europe. I thought it was awesome. Uh, I think it's a lot of work by the organizers and everything, but they're so well done. And I think that you can learn so much more. And the interesting part about Space Up is that it's the people themselves that put on the presentations because they're so fascinated and interested in space. It's not having people from official agencies coming. It's the other people that are just doing it themselves as part of their own hobbies. Yeah, my name is Joachim Baptist, uh, at JustB74 on Twitter. I'm from Belgium and I'm here to yeah, meet the people and learn more about space in general. <laughs> Actually, it changed my life quite a bit after this first one because um, yeah, I went to several other events, space events. I co-organized Space Up Europe, the first one here. And yeah, it takes you everywhere. I have a girlfriend who is also in the community, so yeah, a lot. <laughs> Uh, well, the nicest thing was that you get to know people who are interested in the same kind of things, uh, broader things, like not space, but also the way we want to live, the way we want to continue to live on Earth. So you have a lot of common interests that are very broad, and uh, you're, we're all kind of geek slash nerds, so it's very easy to communicate with each other. Well, like they renamed it now, like social. It, it really is social, and it's not only Twitter or all the things there. It's like meeting up. It's, uh, the nice thing about the internet part is that you can keep connected even when you're not together. I'm Jeff Wallace. I'm from Washington, D.C. in the United States. And I'm here because I love space, and I'm interested in keeping the excitement going about space, uh, trying to bring the, the, the fun that we're having here at this event back to all of, our, all of my followers and all of our uh, fellow space, uh, space aficionados in the United States and, and all over. Well, you know, I'm a scientist. By, uh, that's what I do for a job, and, and it's really been almost my whole life. And so this, uh, this adds an element of fun uh, to it that you wouldn't otherwise have. You know, so, so you know, the, uh, the, the science bleeds over into, uh, into fun, into personal relationships, and there really is, uh, it's just so much fun. Oh, I think it's great because, for starters, you know, there's more uh, there's more diversity in the countries that people are from here, and so we're able to get uh, really a great cross cultural exchange going. And you're right, uh, there's something that, that that makes it a little extra exciting uh, when you move just beyond the digital and the virtual, and then you make that real connection. Uh, because now, you know, as a result of coming here two years ago to your first event. I have friends now all over the world that I didn't have before that I would never have had, and this just makes life a more, uh, a more fun endeavor, as it were. <laughs>